back at you with another quick hit. I want to give all the honours, the praises, the glory. Belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mohara, Ka, Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence, honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit. And to the hopeful elect across the globe, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mohara, Ka, Kodash. And this lesson is going to be based on Yahweh and He gave us comfort. He gave us comfort. He let us know that. Listen, if you're in me, you've overcome this world. This is what the, the world doesn't want you to realize that, right? Those of you that are in Yahamashai, ye have overcome the world. Okay. Yeah, you see, you hear them, you hear them demonic, you, you hear them demonic car spirits. You hear them demonic car spirits. <laughs> yeah, we've overcome this world, bro. There's nothing else they can do. All they can do is carry on with their theatre, try to give you a false, what's it? A false paradigm. Bro, it says, you have to say, you've overcome the world. All right? Let's go into this now. We're going to go into John. First John 1 and 13. All right? Go to verse 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. So let's put that into proper perspective as well. Your sins are forgiven of you for his name's sake, right? Don't be fooled out here, right? Don't be fooled by what these people are doing, by what they're saying. Focus on your Habashai and watch him. Remember, this is the Father, the Heavenly Father's script. It's not an FBI agent script, right? Satan is controlled by the Heavenly Father. Always keep that in mind, all right? I write unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. The fathers would be those in this truth. We're a father of a nation, right? Of our nation. I write unto you young men because you have overcome the wicked one. We've overcome the wicked one. We've overcome the wicked one. It's already been written. Right? I always say this. The perception is important. Your perception is important. You have overcome the wicked one. So everybody that's wicked, including Satan, you've overcome them. You're over them. They just don't want you to believe it. You've overcome them. Right? The wicked one, I write unto you little children because you have known the father. <laughs> and I've written unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. I've written unto you young men because you are strong, not weak. Even though times we get moments where we get weak. You are strong. Sometimes you don't realise how strong you are until you get put through certain scenarios. You're very, very strong. And the word of the Heavenly Father abideth in you. His words abide in Yahweh Shai abides in us. And you have overcome the wicked one. Whew. And you've overcome the wicked one. Remember them words, overcome. We haven't lost. You have not been defeated. All right, come on. Right, now we're going to go to John. Another John. Right? And jump straight to verse... Go to verse 33, John 6 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you, his disciples, his apostles, the fellow believers, that in me you might have peace. So where do we get our peace? Our peace comes from not external, it's internal. Our peace comes from Yahweh Shai. That's where we get our peace from. Right? And it says, In the world you shall have tribulation. In the world you shall have tribulation. Right? So what are we going through right now? Tribulation. Right? When you have a whole town, a whole village, forget it. A city. Bro, that's power. And you know the thing about this? I want to quickly throw this out there. You know there's people that think they can control you. You end up, you end up controlling them. You got people. <laughs> so you end up controlling them, right? It's just funny how you see certain things. You end up controlling them. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And in the world you shall have tribulation. So we're going through tribulation, right? But be of good cheer, be of a good mind. Right? 
Be of a good mind, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yahweh, he overcame everything. He was the example. He was the example, man. He overcame. Same way Yahweh shall overcome. We're gonna overcome as well. It's already been written. Why do you feel why do you why do you think Satan's really coming down hard? Why do you think he's trying all these different tactics? He's already lost, man. You're done. Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Bro, he's already defeated you, man. Right? Now, these people, all they gotta do is just all they're doing is just following a script. Right? The same rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Right? Robots. Bro, Satan has them. This is why you've got to be grateful that you have this truth. Right? You've got to be grateful. Okay. Grateful. Every single day, be grateful that you have this truth. Right? And therefore, you have a purpose. Many people, they don't have a purpose. That's why they're miserable. And misery loves company. And Satan's looking for as much souls as possible. We have overcome. Alright, see what else we got. Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. Um, and I want to go into the spiritual aspects of stuff, them spiritual powers. This is Isaiah 41. Right, so you could hear, you could even hear them evil spirits in the background talking shit. Right, screaming, crying out. Right, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. What are they going to do? Right, what more street theater? Right, bro. Everywhere I go, they have these people set up. Bro, that's, that's power, bro. That is power. Everywhere I go, they have these people set up. That's power. If that ain't power, you tell me, you tell me what is. Right? Isaiah 41, right? And 11. Behold, all that they were incest, all that they were incest against each other be ashamed and confounded. So, you know all those that did come up against us? They're all going to be confounded, man. And what? And ashamed. Right? That's what going to be confounded. They're going to be ashamed. Right? What? Does it take a whole city? What? It takes a whole city to try to take down one person. That means brothers. You certain brothers that are going through that, whoever it may be. That means you have a very high, not just a high calling, a high ranking within the spiritual realm. I don't know what they saw in you, right? You know they do studies, they do brain studies and um, blood studies. Bro, they saw something, they saw something within your DNA. They saw something. <laughs> hey bro, uh, bro, listen, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be getting, um, this wouldn't be happening if they didn't see something within you. They saw something, I don't know what it was, but they saw something. Right, because remember the elect, they have different, the elect have a different DNA, right, <laughs> than everybody else. They have a different um, makeup than everybody else. Okay. Well, we just have to watch this thing play out. And it says, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So we're going to see our enemies perish. We're going to see it, right? Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. They're going to be gone, right? Even them that contended with thee, they shall they that war against thee shall be as nothing. They're gonna be as nothing, man. And as a thing of naught. For I the Lord thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. It's the Lord you have holding our hand, man. He doesn't sleep, neither does he slumber. He's watching, he's holding our hands. He's with us, man. Don't ever think, oh, see, perspective again. I was having a conversation with a lady. She says, a lot of the times we focus on the evil and we don't focus on the good and what your house is doing. Bro, the Lord neither slumbers nor sleeps. He sees everything that's going on. That's another tactic of the enemy to get you to focus on evil. We've already overcome, right? Check this out. And it says, behold, I'm gonna make thee a new shop. See, so you hear them evil spirits in the background talking shit? <laughs> Behold, I will make thee a new sharp, fresh instrument. I haven't, I'm moving too fast. Verse 14 Fear not, the worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Fear not. So we're seen as worms, man. We're seen as worms. And it says, Baba Kasha, I will help thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp instrument, fresh instrument, having teeth. 
That's what the Lord's gonna make us. An instrument having teeth, man. Teeth. Mm. And it says, Thou shalt fresh the mountains and beat them small. And shall make the hills as chaff. The mountains and the hills represent the governments. We shall beat them. We gonna make them small. Alright? Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord Jehovah and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. The Lord's gonna turn us into um, instruments of war. Bro, everyone that was messing with you when you were in this truth on your journey, bro, you're gonna crush them in due time. Everyone, everyone, everyone that was trying to put stumbling blocks before you stop you, you're gonna crush them. Right? Right now we need to teach. Scriptures do say um we're fishing right now, but we're gonna be turned into hunters, man. We gonna hunt them out. Right? Thou shall fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and the holy shall it's like yeah, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and thou shalt glory in the holy one of Israel. Come on. We're gonna get that spiritual we already have that spiritual power. Don't get it twisted. We already have the spiritual power. When you go to John 1, check this out. Yeah. John 1. This is John 1. Right? This is John 1 and jump to 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name, we've been given power to those that believe in him. Read all the scriptures. Bro, the main thing was based upon Yahweh Shai, right? Teaching them spiritual power through faith and belief. Look, read the whole, read the whole Bible. It was all based on spiritual power. Men doing things that others couldn't do because of the faith that they had. Bro, we already have that. We have to tap into it. This is why you're being watched. This is why you're being watched because you have this spiritual power. You have the power, guess what? You have the power to split the waters. You have the power to move mountains. You have the power to, listen, you have the power to raise the, raise the dead through this word. You have the power to change environments. You have the power to make a change, man. But the enemy, Satan, doesn't want you to believe that. That's why he tries to bring negative reinforcements through witches and warlocks. Right? Tap into that power. This is gonna be this is like a double lesson. Tap into that power. Right? Believe in your Habasha and believe in yourself, man. Right? Because at the end of the day, all we have is your Habasha. Nothing else, okay? So we went to that now. Um, see what else we can get, see what else we can get. Oh, the spiritual power's there, right? You really think the people in high, high up in society, oh yeah, um, we believe you have a high very level of um, spiritual power, you have abilities and um, yeah, continue doing what you're doing, no. Their whole thing is to disrupt that. We have to tap into the energy source, which is Yahweh Shai. And without him, you can do nothing. Right? These people, they don't have that. They just have cats, some, some cats, some dogs, some gay coal lizards, some birds, some dogs, and some witches, and a, and a, and a spiritually dead vessel that's re reanimated through witchcraft. That's all they have. We have the light source. We have Yahweh Shai. Alright, see what else we got. See if we can find another scripture on spiritual power. Alright. Bro, you gotta get into this man. Get into these scriptures, man. You you gotta see yourself. When you're reading these scriptures, you gotta see yourself as one of those men. Because if you don't, what are you doing? Live this, breathe this, eat this. See what else we can find. The apostles, they were doing miracles because of the belief that they had in Yahweh Shai. Read the book of Acts. Right? Read the book of Acts. What was going on? Miracles. Right? Let's go to Acts. Baba Kishore. Then we shut off because I want to head to another destination. Right? But these zombies following me everywhere. 
They're spiritually dead. Hold on. Go to Acts. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, man. Nothing's impossible, man, when you actually believe. Yeah. It's impossible to them because they don't see themselves doing it. They want you to believe what they believe. They want you to believe what they believe. Forget about them. All right? See what else we can get. I'm just looking for something on spiritual power. Right. Hold on just a minute. Check this out. Acts 4. Right. And that lay man. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, has carried whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful to ask alms of them but entered into the temple so this man was lame disabled who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alms right begging and Peter fasting his eyes upon him with John said look on us look us in the eye and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them so he probably thought Peter and John were going to give him some money then Peter said silver and gold have I none but such I have as I will give ID in the name of Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, rise up and walk. In the name of Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Get up. All right? And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and his ankle bones received strength. And he leaping up stood. The man leaped up, leaped, and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking, leaping, praising God. And all the people saw him walking. And praising God, and they knew that it was he that sat for alms in the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Wonder and amazement, spiritual power. You notice how Peter, John said, In the name of Yahweh Shai, rise, rise up and walk. Bro, the power's there. The power's there. Bro, acknowledge it, use it. A lot of us, bro, I don't know, that might be another lesson. A lot of us are not using the authority that we've been given. Right? Use the authority, man, in the spirit. Okay. And with this, we're going to shut off. Lord, within this is edifying. And until the next time, shut them off.